Hello everyone. This is the seventh episode in my Outlast series. That I'm gonna do the rest of them in English now. Okay, last I left off in episode six, I needed to turn two vaults to turn the sprinklers in the kitchen on. And uh, that's where I left it. And of course, uh, Chris, or whatever his name is, is here. He's not the wall rider. I told in Romanian that he's the wall rider. He's not the wall rider. The wall rider is uh, this ghost thingy. You will get to see more. And this guy's just like from security or whatever. Before he was changed. Excuse me a minute. I need to adjust my microphone. Alright. Okay, I'll just leave it like this. Alright, come on, Brutus Maximus. Just just go and leave me to my own devices. Alright, he's there. I wonder if he can see me through the window. Or stuff. Can he? I don't know. It's a bad time to find out. I don't want to find out. All right, good. Laundry room. I forgot. Oh, here we go. Hold on. I'm gonna be extra careful. To close doors. I don't hear any chains or anything. Okay, I'm still hiding in the closet, or whatever this thing is, locker, a locker room, because, uh, well, he saw me, I don't know how the hell it he saw me, I was just, like, around the corner. Oh, and he's checking the other lockers, isn't that quaint? Wonderful. Okay, okay, I get it, he's checking the other lockers. But, um... How long am I supposed to... Wait here. I'm sick of waiting. What? Haven't I closed this door? I think he opened it back. Alright, Chris, where are you? I can hear his chains, but can't see him. Okay, I cannot hear his chains anymore. Oh boy. Certainly not this way. That away. Okay, he won't see me. He won't. Yeah, he saw me. Just go, 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 go. Faster. Can't you move any faster? Hey, fatty. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go there. Hey, fatty. What's up? You can't get through there, eh? Can you? Stupid monster, Chris. I don't want my turn in a bath. Thank you very much. Um. Okay, you may be asking yourself, Hey, Vlad, why did you do six episodes in Romanian and now you're doing them in English? Well, thank you, little strange voice in my head, for asking. The reason I'm doing it is because the Romanian ones didn't get as many views as the English ones did, as the international version. I like to call them the international version. They didn't get so many views, hold on, don't go yet. So I switched to English because, you know, just fuck the... Just fuck my community. I, I don't know, but... It's so hard to stay unbiased about this. It's like a proper slap to the face. I mean, I used to think I didn't get views because there weren't a lot of people watching them. Okay, bet your sweet ass he's gonna find me here.
Or not. Oh shit. Let let me pass. You freaking Okay, I jumped. And I couldn't jump over your fat ass. Man, uh, this really bugs me. It really freaking bugs me. But luckily, the game saved. And Chris, this super soldier thing, is nowhere to be found once I save the game. Isn't that lucky? <laughs> yeah, sure is. I actually was relying on that the moment I switched the sprinklers on. Alright, now through the kitchen, the sprinklers have been activated, the fire has been put to a halt, and... <clears throat> oh yes, lovely. That really didn't scare me, and I'm playing with my headphones. Hey, come on, come on! Stupid frickin' ragged PC. Actually, this is not even the PC's fault, the lagging thing. It was just the game's fault. Its script was glitching. And there is the exit. There is the exit. I also have another confession to make. I already finished the game without recording. As a matter of fact, with the sprinkler thing, I recorded it, but stupid Dumbo me deleted the recording on desktop. And no, that's not another personality I have in my head. I accidentally deleted the uh, recording and like I said, it was my on my desktop. I had loads of unuseful items I didn't need anymore, so I just deleted it. Uh, I know where to go, I know what to do. That doesn't mean I won't screw up, I won't fail from time to time. Uh, yeah, like, like this. Like right now. It's just so dark in here. It's just so dark around here. Alright, look, this is the key to the maintenance shed. I need to go to the maintenance shed so I can go... Oh yes, this is this is a part I rather enjoyed. The ghost spirit thing. No, no, it's gone now. That's weird. Uh, the first time I had more encounters with him. And look at this guy, he's just perched there. And I don't know what's he doing. Is he smoking? I have no idea. Neither do I care, by the way. The story on Outlast, this is, um... Uh, these videos are really, really late. My playthrough of Outlast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him do whatever he wants to me. Just because I know I won't die. Loads of gamers, even casual ones, took uh, bought Outlast and finished it already. And the ending has already been spoiled for me. Now, in case you haven't finished Outlast or avoided the spoilers, I won't... Oh, yeah, that was close. I won't give away the ending. You'll see it in a bit. Uh, I said in my previous episode that I think I'm close to the ending. And yeah, I'm really close. I think I've uh, I've gotten past the point of uh, halfway through the game. Now another uh, question no one might be asking, but I choose to answer anyway, is will I do a review of this video? Well, buddy, second unknown voice in my head, I have no idea. I really don't know if I'll do a review on this, because a review, after all, in today's world, is one subjective point of view about a game or product. It's nothing more. You cannot be objective. You really cannot be objective. You need experience in some other horror games and the only horror games I've played is Slender and Amnesia. The Amnesia ones. I still haven't finished A Machine for Pigs and I already did some videos about it. And I don't have it anymore on my hard drive so that's a bitch. It is. All right, this was easy too. This part right here. Monsieur Chris, there he is. Although he's randomly put into places. Oh shit. That was not nice.
All right. Thank you. I just... Uh, this is the weirdest part in the game. I can tell you right now. He was right behind me and... I climbed those things to get to this ledge. So I can get over to the other side of the fence. And he just disappeared when I turned around. It's really not fair. It doesn't explain much. He's not supernatural in any way. He's just a pump-up freak on steroids. Who worked for the security on Mount Massive Asylum. And as you could have seen from documents around that I've gathered. Well, I... I gathered as much as I could, but I didn't. I haven't read them. Uh, there was some experimentations going on. Sorry, man. Hey, hey, hey! No, no so not freaking fair. And I, what I hate most about this son of a bitch, this pumped-up son of a bitch, that keeps harassing me throughout the game, is his freaking smile, his teeth. He always has his jaw open. Also, god damn it, he was giving up. What I don't like is that I was clearly getting away. Oh boy. Clearly getting away from him. Yet he somehow managed, whoa, to grab me. Inexplicably, he managed to grab me. Alright, you son of a bitch. Okay, come grab me now. Come grab me now, come on, I dare you. I, I dare you to smash through this wall and grab me. Come on, come on. You a pussy? Come on. You a pussy, man? You a pussy? Come on, I'm right here. I'm right here. Yeah, fuck off. I really, really hate that guy. Like, you can't imagine. Really hate that guy. Ah, uh, hold on, there's a... Yeah, there's a note there. There are two kinds of notes in this game. You surely know about them. There are the documents one. And the notes, just the notes. Uh, in this case, don't drink the water. So much blood in the water I can smell it, like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. I'm, it's like an itch. These are the notes and then you find the documents around the asylum. And I hate that goddamn son of a bitch. Really hate him. You saw the wall rider, didn't you? You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. As in Mo, uh, I don't know, but I see Outlast. I'm gonna talk about the story as it has been developing. You've got Father Martin, and he's a religious freak. Religious nut. What? Okay. He's a religious freak. A nut. A nutter. And he thinks the Wall Rider is something like of a messiah or a new god. He thinks he takes me as an apostle. To record everything for posterity's sake and to tell others. What the? What? Okay, this is new. I have to see this. The sound in a machine, like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and I see static, something else, something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids, watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine too, from inside the walls. I know that sound. Yeah, yeah. This was. Okay, this is new. I. In my first playthrough, I haven't... I haven't observed that. I saw it, but I haven't observed it, right? Nah. Not exactly. Now I just gotta get to Father Martin. The story in Outlast in its first quarter... Okay, first half... Okay, more than half. Three quarters. It's about religious nuts, freaks. Something... I'm really, I have a hard time expressing myself here. Um, okay, come on, Vlad. I know you can do this. Come on. Okay, religious freaks in an asylum believing that the m current monster, the main villain of the game or whatever, is their new messiah, god, protagonist, whatever. Now, this is a story I've seen, I've heard about, like, many times. It's, n it's not anything new. And, actually, the explanation 
is... The explanation is something else. And you'll see, I won't spoil. But as in most cases, people tend to make a religion out of things they don't understand. Or things they cannot fathom. Okay, I need the key. And the laundry chute needs three fuses. Which is where I will be dropping off because this has been one incredibly short and frustrating video. I'm kind of pissed right now, so please excuse me. You know, bad day. Actually, it wasn't a bad day, but it's just a bad night. But anyway, uh, I'm Doom Vlad. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of Outlast.